if I see a Dutch person who's bald in the league, I'm probably gonna Dutch person in general in the Premier League. If Arne Slot succeeds, he'll be the first one. I haven't seen yeah. any Dutch people. Ready to gamble on the slot machine? Like, how's it going? Another baldy in the league? Oh, what about it? <laughs> yes, we we want to join the ball revolution as well. That thing that's it's basically right now it's not working out at this point. Given everything, you know, especially in the last couple of years with you know with Klopp taking a more of a say in transfers and everything, I've seen kind of how that had an adverse impact on the team, and you know we can get to it, get into it later. But I think it's it's a calculated gamble with respect to how. How the management in the head coach position is. I think I've, I've read somewhere that he's not going to be the manager, but his designation is actually is a head coach, and he'll be reporting to the director of football, and then he'll be reporting to Michael Edwards and everything, which I think is the best solution considering everything that's happening around the club right now. Because there are a lot of reasons why we find ourselves in this stage, and you know, and one or more of the reasons has to be with with Klopp having more of a say in transfers and in the overall management of the club after the backroom stuff walked out in one season. Now they are trying to kind of divide responsibilities more and then make sure that everyone can do their job perfectly and that's basically what is the reason behind it and I think Arne Slot has kind of proved himself working on a good budget and making sure that you know, he, he can develop players and his teams are also not like perennially injured like they don't have all of these injuries coming coming up every now and then so I think he's proved himself with respect to what FSG wants in the head coach position. I'm not saying it will work amazingly, but I'm really excited to see what kind of new shape and new formations will play and then how we'll kind of develop players because there are, there are a lot of players whose careers are kind of right now in that question mark or in that limbo zone sort of right now, because especially with Salah and you know, Van Dyke and everyone because their contracts are up, they only have one year left on the contracts. We want to see what the role is for Trent because if Trent stays, he, is, he will be the next captain. Sent. Yeah, we want to kind of look into all of those transitions so I think it's a good thing and probably the best thing we can ask for without Klopp because there can never be another Klopp we cannot have yeah so we'll see Neil do you think there's a there's a larger issue at play here with the lack of proper managers or when I say proper I mean like well known managers who have won something who have been at bigger clubs and their willingness to move like I, I remember we did a section where we decided we kind of like you know contemplated where all these big managers can go but none of them is kind of going anywhere at this point of time so do you think Arne Slot were you I'll tell you Javi is gonna stay at Clever Goose and that yeah, yeah, yeah you did yeah yeah. We said that I said that Tuchel is gonna move to United and I still believe that that's gonna happen depending on the FA Cup final a lot of things sure. if you know, by a fluke United win that final through you never, whatever you never know they can keep Ten Hag because then that'll be like just but you're right there are apart from Tuchel this is probably a bad season for Klopp to to leave could have possibly stayed one more season and next season would have been good because a lot of managers are gonna be available but then I guess I mean it's a personal decision you can't say anything about that yeah. but yeah to managers in the yeah there are there isn't much out there honestly it's a you think it's, but, is a, is a it can probably a dangerous choice or a wrong choice wrong is not a wrong I choice am, but like I'm not qualified here to comment on Arnest yeah. because I have don't watch the Dutch league that is one league that I have not seen at all except for like I actually size of another baldy from the Dutch league uh, if you have to say that then if I had to if I see a Dutch person who's bald in the <laughs> league I'm probably gonna Dutch person in general in the Premier League if Arnest Lord succeeds he'll be the first one I haven't seen yeah. any Dutch people succeed in the Premier League that's not a that's just a that's just banter honestly uh, yeah. But yeah, like l- last year, Tottenham were going all out for Arne Slots and he actually rejected them. So that tells you the teams wanted him and that this guy had like this guy has a head to think where he wants to go and where he does not want to go. He saw a Liverpool opportunity and he decided that this is the place I will go. And he's also the highest earning Dutch manager in the area division right now. They haven't mm-hmm. gone that high yet. So he definitely is someone who's highly rated and you cannot discount that right now. He's a tactician, he's 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 a disciplinarian so all these things can be good for where Liverpool are right now yeah. um, but it'll be a change man it's not going to be a love story anymore you know yeah. Klopp is so um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying right Avina He's yeah, not, he's not, not, not like a big daddy anymore he's like a daddy yeah like the Liverpool's yeah. dad yeah. is happy it's not he's Arne Sord will more be like a professional like a professional yeah, yeah. guy like he's going to work he might win football matches might win trophies but he's not, never going to be your own exactly yeah. I'll tell you what I'll tell you what we can potentially be more successful with Arne Slot. we can win more titles maybe if Pep leaves and, and all of that we can win more titles but we'll never enjoy them as much as we did with Klopp that's a given yeah 
I think that relationship that he has built with us, and I think with the city, with mm-hmm. the fans, and you know, it, it, it's it's like a family member leaving. Man, I think it, it's yeah. I couldn't I couldn't just kind of come to terms with it when he announced it on twenty sixth of January. I woke up and I saw it, and I'm like, I was literally in tears. And right. remember the day? Yeah, I, that that's the day I think we started this podcast. Also, I think or the week. I guess. So it took me a lot of time to come to terms with it, but having come to terms with it in some ways right now, I think it actually makes sense because there is again we can't clone. We, there is there can never be another club, and I think given everything that's happening around the club, and I've seen how Klopp's influence also was kind of a bit waning in the last couple of years, especially last season was a disaster. This season, I think we did good. It, it's fine. He was taking more and more responsibilities, and the team is also not as structurally set up, and it's all kind of all over the place sort of, and we are kind of winning big based on the influence and. Somewhat, we kind of looking the results every now and then. I want more structure in the team, and I think that is probably going to come with someone who has kind of proved himself in the Dutch league. And again, there are dearth of managers, definitely, but we have to do with what we have. So, yeah. yeah, I think I agree with the fact that you know there's something special with winning trophies with someone who's brought you from the ditches, yeah. right? Yeah. More than the connection, it's like you were nowhere in the picture, mm-hmm. and then you won it with them. So you kind of feel like a cycle completing and the process of fulfillment, mm-hmm. as we would. If Arteta, you know, if you not, know, when Arteta wins first title or whatever, right? Hundred percent agree, right? Because I think Arteta wanted loves Arsenal genuinely, and I think that was yeah. is with Klopp as well. I think with again with Borussia Dortmund and the connection between Jurgen Walker and all of those things that the kind of support and everything, he really wanted yeah, yeah. to come to Liverpool and kind of make an impact. And he kind of right now he loves the club, right? I think that's the case with Arteta as well. Winning anything, winning as Nirav said, winning one Champions League or one Premier League with Arteta will mean a lot, lot more than what you can potentially. Win with other managers again because this is your season where you kind of you're on that stage and saying that okay this is what we can do this is what we will yeah. do and I think good doing that with the with person who really has your best interest at heart that kind of gives you an amazing high. I don't I think it's a pretty good signing. I think all of these clubs like our big clubs they have to give opportunities to new people because otherwise it'll just be the same set of like eight nine ten managers moving around mm-hmm. and failing at different different places. So I think it's definitely a bold decision but it definitely has the opportunity to be a good one. 